How's it going, guys? I know I haven't put out a video in a few days. The uh, reason behind that is I've been working a lot on leveling up my uh, Death Knight. I've got him up to level 85 and got his gear up to let's see item level 345, I believe. Uh, he's doing pretty good. I currently have him as a uh, Frost DPS, of course. I have him dual wielding and it's working out pretty good. Normally the top DPS in 90% of the five mans I go into uh, pulling about a 13k DPS for the uh, dungeon as a whole and getting up to 15-16k on the bosses which isn't bad for a character that hasn't gotten into really any raids yet other than like a buried and hold um, other than that, I've been working on my Paladin. I've got his tank set finally up to par, setting at 138,000 uh, health, self buffed, and normally run 160,000 or so in uh, heroics. I uh, still have obviously still need to work on more. Mastery is only at about 17. Need to get that up probably 10 points or so. And then, like I say, I need to get my health up some more, obviously. But his gear is looking pretty good. Only have two 333 items left. A ring and a trinket. The ring is going to be replaced very soon by the uh, 378 uh, Valor Point ring. I need to do, I believe, two more heroics, and I'll have enough valor points to get that. So that'll be good. Just leave me with the one uh, trinket. Other than that, I have um, let's see, one, two, three, four uh, item level 346 uh, shoulders, helm, necklace, and legs, which I hope to replace as soon as possible. Oh, and also I forgot my uh, weapon is currently 346, so make that 5, 346. But everything else is level 353 or above, so it's going pretty well. Um, but yeah, and DPS gear is looking about the same, maybe a little better. I think I only have... Actually, I don't think I have any 333 left. Yeah, no 333, just a couple uh, 346, and the rest is uh, 353 or above. But, um, yeah, the main point of this video, uh, today Blizzard announced patch 4.3. And the main uh, update in this video, or in this patch, is... Uh, the ability to transmogrify your items. Uh, the way it's going to work, there will be a transmogrifier in each capital city. Um, they're going to be the ethrals. Uh, this goes back, I believe it was last week or the week before. Uh, they put up a picture. It was like three ethrals standing, and one uh, was a transmogrifier, and one was, I think it said, like void storage and one was something else, I don't remember. But this goes back to that. And the way it's going to work, uh, you'll go into your local transmogrifier and say I want to transmogrify my shield, which will probably be the first thing I transmogrify. So let's just use it for example. Uh, I'll go in there. I'm assuming you'll bring up the little thing. You'll put the item you want to transmogrify in, and then you'll put the item you want it to look like in. Uh, in this case, it'll be my skull flame shield. Um, and then it'll cost a certain amount of gold. I don't know at this point. I don't think they announced, at least it wasn't an article, as to exactly how much it'll cost or if it'll be a constant cost or if, you know, cost will go up or vary depending on item level. I have no idea at this point, but they did say it would definitely cost. But anyway, we'll put it in there, hit accept, and 
boom this is sort of what it will look like because my gear will look like this except there will be like a little glowing ring around this saying that it has been transmogrified but I will look like this so it's like I'll have the looks of the, sh the skull flame but the stats of the, my elementium earth guard so it should be pretty cool um, people have been asking for this for a while because a lot of games like uh, Lord of the Rings Online and Rift both have like costume tabs where you can put whatever you want just to make yourself look better uh, pretty well the same concept here um, the only real restrictions on it are you have to actually have the item which personally it's like I've heard some people complaining about it because there's some items that can't you can't get anymore such as a uh, tier 3 which dropped from the level 60 uh, Naxxoramus which obviously no longer exists so if you don't have it you're sort of screwed but other than that I think it's a good thing uh, one thing it'll definitely do is a uh, sort of in Increase the traffic in older dungeons. You know, it'll actually be worth going back and farming them again. Just because, you know, oh, it would be cool. And, but I definitely think it's, or another reason I think it's good is um, because if you didn't have it to where you had to actually have the item, every single person would be running around with epic or with a uh, legendaries you know just everyone would have one and it would sort of take the point away from actually owning a legendary and cuz you would just look like everybody else so the way they have it now you will actually finally be able to use your legendary in some way and show it off even if you are in a dungeon but if you see somebody with a legendary you'll still know that okay even if this person isn't actually having their legendary equipped right now they've still actually gone out and got this legendary so it'll still keep you know the meaning in having a legendary there and the same way with non-legendary items that are just you know hard to get um, I personally plan on going back and grinding I don't know, I'm gonna look through all the um, uh, Paladin tiers so far Judgment looks really good but like I said I didn't really start playing until Wrath it's like I first start. well I first actually started playing in a uh, early Burning Crusade but I was so lost at that point it's unreal so I didn't actually legitimately start playing until Wrath but and so there's a lot of the earlier tiers that I really haven't looked at much. So I'm going to go through, look at those, see what I want to get, and go ahead and start trying to pick some of those items up. Like I said, my Skull Flame Shield's definitely going on. I'll probably be the first thing I do. Um, but my only problem, I know it's a pretty lame problem, but I have a, finally, after Kata came out, I finally got the freaking um, Never Ending Winter to drop from ICC. This, as far as artwork goes, this is possibly one of my favorite shields ever made. Um, it's not as rare as Skull Flame, obviously, since it was just, you know, it was like the number one shield in Wrath, but I just, I love that shield. So I'm going to have to decide between it and Skull Flame. Because, I mean, the Skull Flame looks awesome, but Never Ending Winter looks awesome too. And it goes with my current armor a little better, so we'll see. Anyways, um, yeah, so what do you think about transmogrification? I mean, do you think it's a good thing, bad thing, not a thing? Um, I think it'll definitely change the game in more ways than just, ooh, I can look pretty again. You know, cause especially as for like PvP, you can no longer go, oh shit, that person's, you know, and, you know, I don't know anything about PvP, but whatever the best PvP gear is, you know, you can't just notice it right off the bat and run away. You know, you could have someone run up and 
full judgment gear and you're like ah bitch and then he one shots you so yeah it'll, it'll definitely take a little getting used to you know seeing everybody running around and flashy gear and it'll definitely be different but I'm also very much looking forward to it just about all I've got for now guys um, now that I have my gear back up to a pretty stable level I should be starting to put out um, get back to working on achievements uh, a few I have picked up I got 30 tabards which probably go over that one just showing where you can get tabards and then finally got into buried and hold got that done and then a couple dungeon ones but other than that not a whole lot so yeah as always be sure to rate comment and subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you guys later thanks for watching